You're watching the Urban Debate in Mirror now. I'm Fede Souza. Thank you for joining us. We have a very important conversation to have right now. The government of India has decided to increase the price of LPG cylinders by 4 rupees every month until perhaps March next year when the price of subsidized cylinders will become the same as non-subsidized cylinders. There's a difference of about 84 rupees, which means that by March next year, there won't be a single family in India that is receiving a subsidized gas cylinder. Now, there's been a furore about it in the Rajya Sabha. The opposition walked out. But it's very important for us to understand what's going on. There are arguments on both sides. To be fair, the government wants to remove any dependency on crude prices, global crude prices on the union budget or the balance sheet of the country. This will allow the government to do so. We currently spend about 25,000 crore rupees on subsidy, on oil subsidy in our country, two thirds of which are used for LPG, one third of which is used for kerosene. Over a period of time, we've noticed that the number of people using kerosene has come down They've all moved to LPG. So more and more people in the country are now using LPG cylinders. Those people are going to be paying about 84 rupees more for sure for their LPG cylinders by about March next year. If the price of crude goes up after that, then the price of LPG cylinders will also subsequently go up. The question we have to ask is very simple and we want to be able to understand this so everyone on this panel will be given equal time to speak. We want to understand if it is healthy for the government to be able to remove this dependency off its balance sheets. If that happens, then how do we benefit as citizens? On the other side, can each family really right now, given the prices of tomatoes, given the prices of real estate, given the prices of school fees, can we absorb this difference of about 100 rupees per cylinder per month as we go forward? Phone lines are open because you as citizens have to weigh in. This is the most important voice. And of course, Inval.in is available to you. But on the show with me, Gopal Krishna Agarwal, national spokesperson of the BJP. Brijesh Kalapa is the national spokesperson of the Congress Party. Atul Anjan, national secretary of the Communist Party of India. Ravi Srivastava, founding member of the Aam Aadmi Party. Also senior manager, former senior manager at HPCL. Akash Jindal is an economist. Professor Sriram Khanna is the managing editor of Consumer Voice. We also have Vishal Bosley, who is a customer voice here. And I am going to, gentlemen, if you will allow me, start with Vishal Bosley. Vishal ji, aap mujhe batai ki agar cylinder ki price har mene char rupay zyada ho jati, badhti hai, to aap manage kar paayenge ki aapko lagta hai ki achhi baat hai? Vaisay toh ye baat bhoot hi buri hai. Aur ye pahli baar nahi ho hai. हर साल में या छह महीने में ना सिलेंडर का भाव बढ़ाते ही है। अगर हर हर एक महीने का एक सिलेंडर लगता ही है, अगर चार रुपये बढ़ता है, तो 48 रुपीस साल का जाता है। मगर उसे क्या होता है कि सिलेंडर का भाव बढ़ने से बाकी का भी दाम बढ़ते हैं, जो घर की ग्रहिणी रहती है, उसके लिए ना फिर घर चलाने का थ गैस के भाव बढ़ बढ़ने से जो आनाज के भाव भी बढ़ जाते हैं तो क्या होता है कि ऑटोमेटिकली उसका 10 या 20 परसेंट का खर्चा बढ़ जाता है अभी वैसे सब्जी की प्राइस भी बढ़ बढ़ गई है बढ़ गई टमाटर की प्राइस बढ़ गई है तो आपकी घर की जो बजट है जो आप संभालते हो वो आप कैसे संभाल रहे हैं देखिए पहले जो है ना बचा के रखा था वही यूज करने को अभी चल रहा है अभी तो आपकी जितनी सेविंग्स हैं वो खत्म हो रही होते जा रहे हैं शायद हो जो हो रही है थोड़ी थोड़ी ज़्यादा नहीं तो आपको लगता है कि महंगाई बढ़ गई कि आपको लगता है कि मैनेज हो पा रहे हैं हमसे नहीं होता है मैनेज क्योंकि अभी देखिए ना अभी जो रखा है ना पैसा उसमें से निकालना या किसे में अलग अलग से जो पैसे रखे हैं तो उसको अपने को खर्चा करना पड़ता है। All right, let me let me open this up now to every member of the panel and everyone will be given time to speak so we all are able to hear everybody's views. I'll start with Akash Jindal who joins us in the Noida studio. Akash Jindal, do you believe that increasing the price of LPG by four rupees per cylinder is a is the right thing to do for our country right now? How will the balance sheet benefit? And if it does how will the citizens benefit? 
See, balance sheet would definitely benefit because the deficit would get reduced once we link it to the market. Now, the main point is we have been having a culture of subsidies for the past 70 years. Successive governments. I don't uh, uh, talk about a particular party. All the parties have ruled this country with Congress, BJP, Janta Dal, Janta Party. Now, after 70 years of subsidies, where have we reached? The number of BPL people have increased. Number of poor people have increased. Job losses have <coughs> increased. The divide between rich and poor have increased. The main point as an economist which I want to emphasize is what our policy makers have been doing till now has not got us results. That's for everybody to see. Rather than giving subsidies, what we should have done is we should have targeted income increase, per capita income increase, job generation increase. That's I think what the governments also need to do. Now this culture of subsidies have not given any results in the 70 years. We all know the data. We all know how many BPL, BPL people we have. Now, if you talk about me, there is some mismatch in the timing. This current BJP government, I think they have launched many good schemes, uh, whether it's Make in India, Scale India, and many other schemes. We all know the names. But till now, the results haven't come. I think this year would be the year of delivery when jobs would increase, per capita income would perhaps increase. Mm. I think they should have done with the subsidies once there is a clear-cut increase in per capita income, there's a clear-cut increase in jobs. So once that would have happened, they should have right. done it, then it would have been a better idea. Otherwise, see, these are in the days of globalization. In days of globalization, we are competing with other countries, and we very well know if we have to compete with the world, we have to learn and live with the ways of the world. We have to be market-linked. So, I mean, th of course, it's populist to say, yes, it should have been given at that rate. But ultimately, on one hand, we talk of competition with the leading economies of the world, be right, it US, right. be it okay, China. Okay. So Fair enough. So you think it's a good thing, but you think it's badly timed. Now, let me bring in Gopal Krishna Agarwal, uh, national spokesperson of the BJP. Mr. Agarwal, thank you for joining us. Explain to us the thought process behind taking away LPG subsidies. And like, and, and, and like Akash pointed out, we have traditionally been a country that has taken the price of cylinders very personally. There are a couple of reasons for that. One, gas cylinders can only be used to cook food inside of homes. Unlike diesel that gets used to drive luxury SUVs, there's no misuse perhaps of a gas cylinder at all. It can only be used to cook food inside of homes. So what is the rationale behind increasing the price of gas cylinders? I think I, uh, th uh, you will give me two minutes of my time to explain the issue. The basic question here is subsidy versus investment. The whole debate is empowerment versus, versus entitlement. The government has seen, we have seen, there is a big debate in the country that there are large-scale leakages in the subsidy structure. The way subsidies are given, whether it is in the fertilizers, whether it was earlier in the form of LPG, there was large scale yeah. leakages and also the subsidies were given to industrialists on behalf of farmers and there was a manipulation on the subsidy structure. Second thing was, the, when you go for any uh, subsidy, there is a trade-off in investment. What India needed is an investment by the government in the rural infrastructure. We have only 26% coverage of irrigated land in the country. There are so little roads in the rural areas. There are so uh, little housing uh, for the poor people. There are so many resources constrained in the government where it can could have been a better utilized. So the, our policy was first to streamline subsidies, block leakages, and even you see in the fertilizer, now we have a modified a way where the fertilizer actually was flowing to industries instead of flowing to the farmers or users of the fertilizers. Similarly, in LPG are meant also, to do that? even hotels who are using more than 100 cylinders a day. So there is a question of subsidizing, target, uh, in a streamlining the subsidy and shifting some of the money saved to create infrastructure investment in the rural areas. That is the basic uh, policy which the government is okay. uh, following. Right. We don't want to remove subsidy completely, but we but want to streamline and uh, st uh, strengthen subsidy delivery mechanism. 
second thing is that the uh, dharmen pradhan ji has said that we don't want to reduce subsidy in oil everything if you say just now you said tomato tomato and other fruits and vegetable everywhere there can be subsidies but the government has to see trade off between which sector needs more uh, hand holding which are right. the areas okay. which atul anjan atul anjan so national sector right. subsidies i have given you two and a half minutes mr person, mr, mr. mr. krishna yeah, every economic person will in, uh, accept that uh, the trade off between economics of subsidy and the politics of subsidy it is better that we look towards economics of subsidy okay economics of subsidy i just want to point out one thing if you say you're streamlining subsidy and making sure there's no leakage is i if i'm given to understand that's what the aadhar project is for it is meant to ensure that the subsidy reaches the right person and reaches the right person <coughs> in their bank accounts that would ideally be streaming li- streamlining the policy uh I don't understand how taking away the subsidy completely helps in that i uh, that area Atul Anjan National Secretary Communist Party of India go ahead do you believe this is a good thing Madam Dissouza the government of India I have not speaking on behalf of the government of India the two earlier speakers very interestingly they were not talking as a political party leader or as a political but they were speaking like the press information bureau people they are telling all these things i think these are all ap- appeared i am an independent the main economist question sir, is this please i am not a government representative no no i i know you are dependent don't don't try if you take it you know mr jindal you know mr jindal you are not independent you are dependent one i know the dependent people declare themselves independent don't try to be <laughs> don't try to be smart don't try to be smart the all politics which you are telling sir, please don't try to change please one second one second, second. Please, please, gentlemen please, i'm going to have to intervene to here don't try, don't uh, this try. tutu mai is wasting don't time don't on the show please, please stop please, mr jindal and and uh, mr anjan please stop don't please make the point to the arguments that we are having i am a government man he should give his views he shouldn't tell that i am a government person i am a gentleman please i have given my views Why Mr. Anjan, that's the point. Mr. Anjan, Mr. Atul Anjan, please, please, please make your points to the debate that we're talking about today. The price of cylinders. Don't be in a cast. Then come to the ground. Come to the ground. I know where I have to hit. Mr. Anjan, I know. Mr. Anjan, so that is the correct way. The government of India. I just want one explanation. When Manmohan Singh ji was the Prime Minister, the crude oil international price was one hundred and forty dollar per barrel. Now, when the Mr. Modi is the Prime Minister, it has gone up to the thirty, thirty-five, twenty-five, forty. Now it is between forty-five uh, dollar per barrel. It's fifty Why dollars a barrel tonight. Why have not been translated yes. all the subsidies to the international price has gone down? Why it has not been given to the people? Now the question in in when a hundred and forty dollar per barrel. Petrol price was seventy two, seventy three, seventy four. When it is forty five dollar per barrel in Mr. Modi's uh, era, we are getting seventy rupees, seventy two rupees per uh, per liter petrol. Where the money has gone? In the name of subsidy, you are. Why don't you take subsidy at one stroke? This four I months. This is a gimmick. This is a very organized move. And I say one thing very clearly: that you are giving subsidies. After subsidy, every year one lakh five thousand. I'll tell them him where the subs- tax realization uh, is going to come to corporate. Gone. You are not taking. Now the you question is this: what, what common pa- people are being affected by this? You are subsidized. You are stopping subsidies. You are you have put many medicines right. out of you say they subsidize you see rates. So you are squeezing the money. Giving it to the corporate houses, and that's the politics. Right. And you are slowly doing it. हर जगह प्रचार कर रहे हो कि भारत के हर पेट्रोल पंप पर उज्जवला हो गया. लेकिन मिल रहा है लोगों को सिलेंडर. मिल रहा है लोगों को संतुष्टि. आप कल well, these, we'll, these are the numbers. These are the numbers. Let's let's stick with the numbers. Let's stick with the numbers. This is a note. अगर खाना बनाने में कोयले का प्रयोग नहीं घट रहा है, तो आपका ये जो फ्री सिलेंडर का खेल है, ये दावा है, झूठा है. So let me let me give you the numbers. Let me give you the numbers, and this is from a source from inside the Oil and Petroleum Ministry. Mr. Mr. Anjan, one second. This this document has been sourced from the Oil and Petroleum Ministry, and it says that uh, the numbers from April 2014 there were 14 crore people who were using 14 crore households who were using LPG connections. That has gone up to 21 crore households on July 2017. LPG penetration has increased from 56 percent. to 76%.
This is a note on the increase of price of LPG from inside the Petroleum and Natural Gas Ministry. The ministry goes on to say, moderate increases in prices will have minimal impact on LPG consumers as an overall inflation remains at the low level. Having said this, the government stands committed and will continue to provide subsidy assistance to the needy and poor households. That's where it stands right now. Let me bring in Professor Sriram Khanna, Managing Editor of Consumer Voice. Do you believe, as per the note from the ministry, that a moderate increase in prices will have minimal impact on customers? Uh, I only want to draw the attention of your viewers that when Mr. Gandhi's uh, Mr. Agarwal, who is the BJP spokesman, his colleagues saw the same thing in UPA when the number of cylinders which were subsidized was reduced. His entire party went on a rampage inside parliament and held up parliament for so many days. <laughs> and the UPA was trying to do the same thing. There you opposed it and now you want to do the same thing what you had opposed. So what, where are the double standards? Were you not not in favor of the subsidy at that time when you opposed it or now when you are withdrawing it. So you may have double standards because it is expedient for you. But I would like to say that when the government came into power, the new government, the prime minister appealed to the affluent people to give away their subsidized cylinders. And many of them gave away and the prime minister himself acknowledged so many lakh households have given away their subsidized uh, uh, cylinders so that the poor granny who is cooking in the in the smoke is given relief and now you want to put smoke in the eyes of the poor granny where is your policy let's understand you don't want to subsidize you say we are against subsidies and remove them but don't try and put smoke in the eyes of poor people it's only the poor people today who are getting getting the the uh, the, the subsidies uh, subsidized cylinders you want to take away the subsidy you that means the people who afford buying of cylinders at a lower price today their their number will be reduced and if that is your policy then i think uh, the people should judge for themselves what your policy for the poor is either you say that we'll give direct yes. benefit transfer to so many households we'll give them money via bank accounts and we'll have the market price of the cylinder your policy is confused you don't know what you want to do and you want to achieve if you want to really subsidize through direct benefit transfer households and give them direct subsidy to enable them to buy whatever they need, that's fine. But where is that policy? I have not seen it. Right. I also, I also uh, want to, you, you, very good point, a very good point. I also want to point out, of course, there is the Ujwala Yojana, the Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana, at the cost uh, to the exchequer of 8,000 crore rupees. This Ujwala Yojana was meant for that very same thing that you're talking about, that women who are currently not using uh, gas cylinders will have access to them. The government has added 20 million beneficiaries through the Ujwala Yojana, but there are reports in the media that suggest that these of these 20 million people, several of them, did not come back to get a refill of their own cylinders because they cannot afford the refill because the refill is too expensive. So, how, what is what is the policy for these people who cannot afford the 480 rupees that will soon go up to well past 500 when the subsidy is removed? Brijesh Kalapa, representative of the Congress Party, go ahead. Uh, Fay, I think uh, the first thing is that uh, when Modi Sarkar was to be elected, this is the slogan they had. They said, Bahut hui mehengai ki maar, ab ki baar Modi Sarkar. <clears throat> Today you see the price of tomatoes. You know, if one goes to the tomato market to buy tomatoes, then you know that person uh, is uh, richly deserving of having an income tax rate. <clears throat> you know, this is the uh, serious condition in regard to prices. Now, as far as petrol prices, Mr. Atul Anjan has so eloquently put it that what used to be $145 for a barrel is today well, less than one-third and still the same rate subsists. In so far as other issues like gas, the rates have gone up. As far as railway prices are uh, concerned, they have gone up. Leave aside everything else, even a platform ticket. What used to cost 2 rupees now costs 20 rupees. So this is a kind of economic policies Modi Sarkar is running. Now, if complementary to that, if businesses were up, if jobs were available, it was okay. It was still acceptable. 
But here, thanks to demonetization, thanks to GST, jobs are finished. There are no jobs. There is no business. Businesses are dying out. And despite I have, I have that, question. rates are going up. So how is an average how is an average household to deal with this situation? On the one hand, you have totally weakened the economic structure of the country. And on the other, you are walloping people with heavy prices on every issue. So how is, how is an average family to run by itself? This is something which Modi Sarkar doesn't know. For, for the, in the first case, Mr. Modi himself is a bachelor, so he has no idea of how a household runs. Well, I have a question for you, Brijesh Kalapai. In rebuttal, uh, let me ask you this question. And this, uh, this, this particular instance has been cited by members of, uh, of the EFT uh, government right now. June 2010, the empowered group of ministers met under the chairmanship of the then finance minister, Shri Pranab Mukherjee. During the meeting, Mr. Sharad Pawar, Ms. Mamta Banerjee, Mr. Kamal Nath, Shushil Kumar Shinde, Mr. Murli Deora mm -hmm. and M.K. Aligiri were present. Alagiri were present. In this meeting, they decided that the price of domestic LPG be increased by 35 rupees per cylinder in Delhi with corresponding increases in other parts of the country. Thereafter, the price will be periodically revised based on the increase in paying capacity as reflected in rising per capita income. Is this not true? No, but say that, see, if, if a decision has been taken, if a group of ministers have met, if they have put their thoughts down on paper, then Modi Sarkar was, was representative of those thoughts and said, And which way have the prices gone? Have they gone down? Has the price of anything gone down? Has, has uh, incomes increased? Has jobs increased? What has happened? Because he also promised that he'll have pro provide two crore jobs. Where are the jobs? Jobs are finished. When the GDP falls to the extent of 2%, nearly 3 lakh crore is wiped out of the market. Can you imagine the impact on jobs? There are no jobs. When there are no jobs, there is no income. When there is no income, how do you expect people to pay? Where do they pay from? Is this basic issue not uh, reaching out to Mr. Modi? Does he not, uh, is he not aware that people don't have jobs? When they don't have jobs, there are no businesses. Where are the business? Even businesses right. down. Right. Let, me, let me bring in when other voices. And, and uh, Ravi Shrivastav is, is, is a founding member of the Ahmadbi party also. He, was, he functioned as senior manager HPCL. Ravi Shrivastav, go ahead. See, Fay, now I'm going to talk about certain technicals, actually. The friends, Keep it simple, though, so they, my audience yeah, can yeah. understand. They were talking yes. about all these things, the prices of the crude oil and all that. Let me tell you, the price of LPG was only 800 rupees, 800 rupees per, uh, per dollar per ton in 2014, which has now reduced to 400 rupees. Now, where is the logic of increasing the price of LPG? I don't understand anything. You have raised the price of LPG 32 rupees on this 1st July itself. And how many increases you have done? Mr. Agrawal, I would like to answer you this question. Since 1st July 2016, 10 times you have raised the price of LPG without any rhyme and reason. When the prices of internationally uh, uh, LPG are going down, what is the logic of increasing it in India? And we have got 50% LPG import. If 50% is your domestic, 50% is coming from outside. So where is the domestic you are going to give the subsidy? Why can't you sell it at the cost price where you are recovering it? Another thing is that you have converted these people, Muft connection diye, Muft connection diye, ek bar, sola so rupay ka wave off karke de diya connection, aur un logo se, ab aap jo chusne ja rahe ho unko, LPG cylinder ke upar, har mahine 4 rupay. Aur har mahine 4 rupay badhane ke baad, आपका टारगेट है कि मार्च 2018 then how you are going to make your meet your subsidy so instead talking about subsidy if the if the per capita income had gone up the affordability in the public had gone up then there would have been a logic of raising the price but without that raising it for nothing i think it is just unjustified and okay. you have no reason for increasing okay. it like this you are making middle class people lower class people to suffer immensely and they are going to uh, have their budgets out of hand 
All right, you've made your point. Let me take this back to Gopal Krishna Agarwal. Uh, Mr. Agarwal, I know you want to respond to everybody else, and I'll give you a chance to do so. I have a question for you myself. I agree that we should uh, manage our accounts, always manage our accounts better as a country. We should find a way to bring down costs that can be avoided. Here's a cost that can be avoided. Every member of parliament costs the country 2,91,800 rupees every month. Why? Because the official residence of an MP, all household expenses are free, including furniture, electricity, water, laundry, air conditioners, refrigerators, tel television sets. MPs travel abroad officially. They're given free business class air tickets, a daily traveling allowance, depending on which country is visited. Medical expenses are free. MPs bungalows are furnished. Maintenance of the house, including washing of sofa covers and curtains, are done free of cost by the government. They get free electricity of 50,000 units a year. Uh, they're given a base salary plus a pension that they get even if they're MPs for one day. Now, here is why I think that this sort of allowance can actually be saved. 82% according to a report of the MPs in Lok Sabha are Karodpatis. 55% of the MPs in Rajya Sabha are Karodpatis. They're obviously people who can do without all of this free stuff. Kopal Krishnagarwal, let's take away the free, free lunches from everyone, hey. not just huh. the poor and the middle hey, can class. Can you allow me to add no, no, one I, question? I, I, allow Before him. he responds, because that's a very logical question I'm going to ask. No, no, let him, let him the answer the government question. Has let been giving, the government question. has been giving no. the logic can that I, petrol uh, price, diesel price are being raised. Let him answer the question, Mr. Srivastava. Yeah. I'll give you a chance to okay. ask the question. Let him answer, please. Mr. Mr. No, uh, it is a uh, question to me. Let me answer. I heard you, all of you. Yeah. What thing is that if you uh, this kind of comparison is not fair because mm -hmm. if you uh, the, uh, it is out of context that you are uh, comparing if you want to debate on the uh, subsidies or the benefits to the MPs by member of parliament we can de have a debate that different time C currently we are talking of subsidy on LPG I would like to stick to this ultimately if a government runs a deficit who is ultimately going to pay. It is for the people of the uh, citizens of the country who are going to pay the, uh, the deficit in the budget. So uh, if you are go going for a, go if the government is going to go for a good maintenance of account, it is for the benefit of the common people. The Congress people here were renting so much. It was uh, uh, to the gallery that they were talking. Now I tell you when they subsidized this petroleum and diesel, what they did, they did a jugglery and fraud with the people of the India by just issuing go, uh, uh, oil bonds and not incorporating them into the budget. Fraud now. They paid, they were making a fool of the people of this country. And uh, the, uh, those oil bonds, bonds were issued to the companies without uh, providing them in the budget. That was the fraud they played on the citizens of this country. And now they are talking, we are, uh, we are doing fiscal prudence, we are streamlining yeah. subsidi subsidies. Prajesh Kalapa is going to want to respond to this. That we have allowed the petroleum uh, companies, no wait, 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 okay. uh, the, we are no. allowed the you petroleum see. companies to in, if they want, they can increase the price. Ultimately, the decision, or consensus decision was that the petroleum product. No, no, be sir. It is a minister determined the price. price. I, I, I there is no market determined price. It is only on and paper. Now, the minister decides the price. Tell you that uh, ultimately, uh, the, 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 the MP, Rajesh Kalapa respond and then Akash Jindal, I see your hand go up. Rajesh Kalapa respond to that. You first listen and then talk. I listen to yeah, you. Listen no, first. To say, I listen to you, and then I'm talking. Okay, okay, one second, one second, one second. One second. Okay. Gentlemen, Not gentlemen, one at a time. I cannot understand you. Why is this gentleman speaking so much? Listen, if you first listen. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Gopal Krishna Agarwal, you said that the but Congress say, party. You no, made some no, accusations. No, no, allow him to respond to that, please. Gopal Krishna Agarwal, allow him to respond. Go ahead, Brijesh Kalapa, respond. No, no. One thing is. No, just See, a second, let me finish. Yeah, let th me there finish. is a I saying way, respond, which goes, Nats na jane, Nats na jane, Angan Keda. And for everything, the BJP yeah. will always blame and, uh, the, the previous regime. Who are be be being benefited? Yeah, the, the, point, the point which I want to make is... Uh, if you are, we are streamlining the issues, about which deficit. have been caused now, by... We are not blaming. How we are streamlining the issues. From oil. Now, petrol and diesel, would you enlighten us how many times have you increased uh, uh, the taxes on petrol and diesel, particularly the indirect taxes, the excise tax? Can you just uh, remember how many times it has been increased? 
there were people who so were the asking amount, the, num the number of times they have increased the excise. The and secondly, the point which nobody has made, the, tomorrow in I case tell you, I tell you the price, figures. Please, please allow me to The complete, government so over the complete. last three years. Uh, if, if the crude oil again bounces back to $120 then per Then you will have patience to listen to me. Sir, sir I, I, allow me to ask the question. Unless you understand the question, how would you respond? In case crude oil bounces back to $125, per barrel, which is very much a possibility. You have market linked the diesel, you have market linked the, now you are market linking the LPG. I am a person who is against subsidies, but would you tell us where would be the price of LPG and diesel then? And what would be the situation? Your government has got a free gift that in the past three years you have enjoyed crude oil, huh. which has been $30 per barrel, $50 per barrel. And that has already uh, reduced your deficit to a lot extent. Plus, you have been keeping on increasing excise. How much more focus do you want to put on this? You have already enjoyed three years of a low price of crude oil. Last year in the January, it was as low as $26 per barrel. In case it reverses, then which, what would be your Is cash this a cost? question or Please a statement? Now. You are continuously a, giving statement. Is this a question? It's a question, sir. It's a simple now you, question. Why can't you listen, understand if this you question? If you are asking a question, I have asked five a question. If it bounces back, for fifteen minutes. My then. question is very okay, simple. Okay, all right, all right. Bounces back, right. 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 what would be the situation? It's okay, you know, I just give me fifteen minutes to answer it. My concern is very. Yeah, okay, okay. One at a time. One at a time. Gopal Krishna Agarwal, answer the question. I will explain you. Yes. I will explain. Fair. If. Huh, I will answer the question. The government, by reducing sub, uh, this fiscal deficit, has created a good ecosystem for economic development. In the last three years, government has invested more than 9 lakh crores in building infrastructure, particularly oh, rural really areas, visible. roads, uh, irrigation facilities, housing. So many, it. 9 lakh crore of investment has oh, been yeah. done by the oh. current government what is the impact over the last one? two, three years. So where That's it is visible? The Economy is in a good shape. No, no, people are coming are from rural areas. Your now, government says me. nine percent people now are you leaving are, the rural areas, and there's a big number of people coming to the rural areas. One second, one second. Okay, okay. So let me let me just ask the questions here. Let me just ask the questions. Gopal Krishna, one second, one second, one second. Let him finish. Let him finish. Where the nine lakh crore rupees gone into infrastructure development? Can you give us specific give us specific names of specific projects, please? No, no, this is not. The lower middle class fair, and rural fair and take no, giving no, all, will all the subsidies for the corporate minutes. houses. Okay, okay. That my no, question, okay, my question, question is the nine lakh crore rupees that's gone into investments. Can you give us specific examples of projects that have been built with this money? Nine lakh crore rupees in investments. Which projects have they gone to? Which projects have actually become functional? Can you uh, give I us examples? Now, uh, the roads in the rural areas. Which rural so areas? How many kilometers can you quantify? Can you say something? How many lakhs of kilometers are the rural areas? Are road when the part day. day. Now the you ask them to listen, and to, and the no, listen the to the No, listen to the answers. Please listen, listen to the answers. One second, gentlemen, gentlemen, please calm down. I want to know. You said roads in rural areas. Can you give me specific? One second. One second. All right, Mr. Anjan. Roads in rural areas, can you give me specific rural areas so we can verify that information? Actually, give me instances, specific areas, specific projects, so we can verify those roads, please. My lakh crore is not a small sum. No, what uh, I tell you what the ministry has come out with oh. the average figures that the average road being built in you the rural area and the Baba, Baba, Mantri, Garmin, Sarak, Yojana, Baba, is one thirty one kilometer per day. It has been now you ask me to listen to you. Now you can tell me what happened. Your three years government and not been answered for thirteen years gone. Fifteen 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 years gone that there are a lot of you Kamiyo and Mr. Agarwal is arguing by himself here. So you, you have, have to give him chance. You have to give him a chance to finish are, his arguments before you jump in with the next question. Communism and communism. Right. Mr. Agarwal, Mr. Agarwal, the... Okay, Mr. Mr. Agarwal said that 9 lakh crore rupees is being used for infrastructural development. There is the Union Ministry of Highways has put out a daily uh, hit rate of how many how many kilometers of road they build on a daily basis. We would like to know where these roads are so we can actually verify them physically. But the question that Akash Jindal was asking, what happens now if crude starts bouncing now, back? Akash Jindal, go ahead. Have patience. 
Yeah, yeah, my question is, Gopal ji, if crude uh, starts bouncing back, no, no, it is for me to answer now. You are not. No, no, please, please uh, allow me to, to ask my question. This is not way, the and way. you have you ask everybody the ask the question many a time. Then te don't tell okay, them. Okay, all right. So let okay, we are, we are, uh, yeah, gentlemen, to gentlemen of the statement. panel, we are going to give Mr. Agarwal time to answer this question. Mr. Agarwal, I'm giving you time. No, one second. Let him answer. Let him answer. Mr. Agarwal, go ahead. No, no. Give me a specific answer, please. Don't say that they are asking question. They can abuse government. They can do whatever. No, no. We are not worried. This is not the way. If they are saying that we are asking questions, okay, the public can't even ask questions. Mr. Agarwal, I'm surprised. Answer to them. Otherwise, just say. No, no. Let him answer. Let him answer. He's answering. He's answering. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mr. Agarwal, go ahead. Go ahead. Everybody, give him time. Then nobody allowed to answer. Uh, no, no, first you allow. There were two, three questions. So let me come complete the answers. Then they, this is not the way. I will also not allow them to speak. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Everybody's been shouting. silenced, so Mr. Agarwal. Go they, ahead. Don't say that they are asking questions. That question. require a lot of uh, arguments. Uh, no, no, uh, let him, let him, please, please, gentlemen, let him answer. No, ask please let him gentlemen. answer. Uh, Mr. Agarwal, go ahead. Yes, the thing. Uh, where, uh, the thing is, the government has gone on a path where we think that sub, uh, legal, uh, regularizing subsidy and transferring some of the funds to investment is a better alternative for economic development of the country. Second thing is, inflation is under quite control, less than average of 3.5%, which gives an ample space to the government to do some uh, uh, issues, tackle some issues which were uh, 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 hard harming the economy and uh, go for a developmental agenda which our country, our uh, Prime Minister is looking for. We are saying that we are moving towards an investment in uh, avenues and trying to reduce subsidy bill of the government through streamlining that. That's one uh, issue. Second thing is that earlier, lot of bo oil bond uh, subsidies were given outside the budget. They were not being incorporated into the government figures of the budget. Uh, that was creating a fraud on the government. Now we are streamlining even those issues. Third thing is we are going for investment into rural infrastructure. I have so said that government has planned, government is going to build two two crore houses, low cost houses within three, four years. Government is uh, taken a task of building 131 kilometers of rural houses in the uh, rural areas from 30 kilometers to 131 kilometers. Even urban areas, which was 17 kilometers a day, it has increased to 31 kilometers a day of road of construction. CIP, Irrigation area, the government wrong. has planned we to create 26% of the rural area abhi, abhi to double it. Java, so we are going into Sir, question issues. has not been answered, Gopalji. We have listened the to you patiently. Please answer my question, crores. sir. The Would fertilizer you please answer my question, sir? I am requesting you now. Can I ask my question, please answer my question, please? See, Gopalji, first of all, you have made a fool of yourself. Sir, please answer my question, please. Sir, please answer my question, please. See, first of all, you have made a false sir, statement Shivastov on the panel the officer, that has put the, the government is not revising the prices of petrol and diesel. This is done by the oil companies. Oil marketing companies. This is a false statement. All prices are decided by the minister. It is not a market determined price mechanism. This is a minister determined price mechanism which is going on. Another thing which I want to tell, I want to ask you a small question. That prices of petrol and diesel were kept high in the view so that you can cross subsidize kerosene and LPG. Hmm. Now you are raising the price of LPG also and you are raising the price of petrol and diesel also. So what is the logic behind it? Can you please explain that what is the reason? Yeah, I want to add here one point. The total Mr. subsidy to Mr. the Gopar petroleum sector at present state uh, uh, stands up to 96,000 crore. No, the it government doesn't. over no, sir, it is not. Period, 25, no, sir, crore. It is 25,000 crore only. You are having it only on kerosene and LPG. There is no other uh, subsidy in petroleum sector. Subsidies. The diesel is on the market price and Masi, the petrol Masi, Masi, Masi. is also on market Masi, Masi. price. Let me, just, let me just go over the sir, numbers. Let me just see, go over the numbers. 2013, our total subsidy was 96,000 crore. It is now 25,000 crore. Over three years, Professor they should Kanna have Gohan. created six crore jobs in three years. They have not even created six lakh, lakh jobs in the last three years as per data given by the CSO. So what is the point of this investment if it cannot now generate you jobs? Jump to jobs? This is, this is jobless growth, talk of subsidy, jobless then investment. To investment, then to jobless uh, investment. prices of vegetable. The, 
this kind of jumping around will not help you. No, jobless, but, but jobless, jobless, jobless growth. Oh, 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 discuss on subsidies. Mr. Oh, Agarwal, okay. now you are but talking about. When, when we talk about, you have to realize, Mr. Agarwal, the reason why LPG is a question here is because are there are regular people like uh, like Vishal Bosley who have to pay for cylinders. They will only be able to pay for cylinders if their family members are getting jobs. If they are not losing all of their no, money, no jobs, tomatoes. So, so it's all now connected. I think it's unfair to say that jobs and sabzi and mengai is not connected to LPG. That's actually quite a naive statement to make. Let me let me bring in Vishal Bosley, who's been listening. वेरी वेरी क्वाइटली आप सुन रहे थे अब तक विशाल जी 7.5 करोड़ मुद्रा लोन टू पीपल मुद्रा लोन मुद्रा नहीं नहीं विशाल को बोले दीजिए एक मिनट एक मिनट विशाल विशाल मिनट इज गिविंग वन सेकंड लोन टू 7.5 करोड़ विशाल इज अ कस्टमर एंड सिटीजन विशाल क्या आप क्या आपको सरकार से डायरेक्टली क्वेश्चन पूछना है How much is the growth in per capita income? How should I give you the data? Yes, हर बार ये लोग इलेक्शन आते हैं तो लोगों के दरवाजे पे आते हैं। तो वैसे ही अगर इनको भाव बढ़ाने का है ये सब भाई ना ऑप्शन उन्होंने ना जनता के ऊपर छोड़ना चाहिए। तो जनता कभी बढ़ाने की ऑप्शन ही नहीं देगी फिर ये तो गलत बात हुई ना फिर तो सरकार को एक दो मतलब ऐसे निर्णय लेना पड़ता है कभी लेकिन आपने सुना कि सरकार की तरफ से आपने जवाब सुना अभी गोपाल कृष्ण अग्रवाल जो जवाब दे रहे थे कि क्यों किया उन्होंने उनका कहना है कि ये जो पैसे हैं जो बचाएंगे ये लोग इसको रास्ते बनाने में इसको यू नो खेती में पानी लेके आने के लिए इरिगेशन करने के लिए इसके लिए यूज करेंगे तो इसका क्या रिएक्शन है आपका मैडम इस पे है ना सैलरी भी बढ़ना चाहिए लोगों की अभी क्या होता है कि वही सैलरी और सब जगह पे अगर भाव बढ़ता है तो फिर घर चलाना बहुत मुश्किल हो जाता है सेवेंथ पे कमीशन में बढ़ा तो दिया नाउ आई 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 बीन वेटिंग ओके इफ ऑल द इन्वेस्टमेंट्स हैव बीन मेड ओके बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट हैज बीन मेकिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इनटू इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर आई एक्सेप्ट दैट फैक्ट यू हैव स्टार्टेड मेनी स्कीम्स आई कॉम्प्लीमेंट यू ऑन दैट आफ्टर थ्री इयर्स ऑफ रूल हाउ मच इज द पर कैपिटा इनकम इंक्रीज दिस इज वन पॉइंट विच आई वॉन्ट टू नो so I I was just labelled a BJP man just 30 minutes ago so please allow me to ask this question how much has been increased in the per capita income can you what is the Mr. delivery Mr Jindal can you tell me how much per capita increased in 10 years of UPA government no. I can now now don't make me a UPA man no 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 don't make me a UPA man I am not a UPA person. See, you were voted okay, into okay, power. So there's no answer to that question. Mr. Agarwal. Mr. Agarwal. Mr. Agarwal. I have to know. There are a couple of people who haven't spoken. Atul Anjan has been very quiet. I want to allow Atul Anjan to make a point. I will answer you on the mail. Mr. Anjan. Mr. Anjan. You've heard the responses right now of Mr. Agarwal. Where do you stand on the question? Has he changed your mind? I think Mr. Agarwal is giving a very, very, you see, rosy picture of the country. He says inflation is under control. If the inflation is under control, why the prices of the essential commodities are not coming down? Why the prices are going up? It is very difficult to have, you see, to bring this daily bring and uh, bread and butter issue. It has become a very horrible. Market forces are squeezing the people, and it has nothing to do with the, you see, your inflation thing. And you say, yeah, because of the demonetization. The prices will, you see, every problem will be solved. And I hereby quote one thing to great Prime Minister of this country, uh, former Prime Minister, Mr. Dr. Manmohan Singh, what he said it, that your demonetization is going to bring down the GDP and it will be a monumental mistake. And I think today it has been very crystal clear that government of India, the cent, uh, CSO also is coming out with all sorts of the facts that there is no, there is only 1,36,000 jobs in the government sector has been created in the year 2016. The situation is such a moribund situation. The whole economy and economic life and the policies of economy, this is, or you take out from the people. What happened? Yeah. I just want to remind one thing, Madam Disuda, that yes. big, big things were said in the Atal Bihari Bajpayee government. And now what happened? Now the pension steam has been taken away in 2003. The people's social benefit programs has been taken away by the BJP. The BJP's main aim is to take out all the social benefit programs and here also this Narendra Modi government. But all mm. taking up the subsidies. Let me, let me, this is Kalapa, also Kalapa, to Kalapa, put the people to, in a vast uh, problem okay. and they are put okay. in Kalapa, a very miserable The response miserable to the increase, what is the increase of per capita income in the hands of every Indian, which is effectively what Vishal Bosley asked, that you will increase our 
The response was, what was the increase during the UPA reign of 10 years? You want to answer Madam, that question? Madam, this question is answered by the finance ministry every year in the economic survey. The data is in the economic survey for last 30 years. How much PCI has grown is given in the economic survey. And I'm sure Mr. Agarwal has not read that that table in the economic survey uh, of the government of India. If he reads, he'll find out how much it is in 10 years, how much it is in 30 years. He should know that there is marginal increase. There are no jobs created in the last three years. Per capita income is just creeping. It's much lesser than the previous 10 years. Let me assure you. Look at the figures. Ask a finance minister. Rajesh Kalapa, go ahead. Yeah, the first thing I'd like to say, Faye, the, the primary thing that pushes and keeps every, every business going is the GDP. And this is reflective of how we are all doing. Today, if the GDP is something around 6%, which is also a fudged figure, it's something yeah, around 3.5% of how much the UPA figures were. First of all, the GDP figures were totally fudged by Mr. Modi as soon as he came, only to show as if he was doing very well economically. Now, those figures are something around 3.5%. During the, at the time when we demitted office, we were in the region of some, some, something like 6.5%. Now, if, by going by the present figures, we would have been something like 12%. Now, when such a huge slump is there in the GDP, then what does it reflect on? Each one point uh, fall in the <coughs> GDP reflects to about 1.5 lakh crore, which is wiped out. So today, if you are something like 3.5%, the government says it is 6%. Let's accept it 6%. But I'm saying that we have come down after demonetization by more than 2.5%. So that means effectively that nearly 4 lakh crore is wiped out. You know, when, when the, uh, the famous CAG, who used to give a false reports continuously in regard to 2G, 3G, 5 lakh crore laws, 2 lakh crore laws, you know, those are all presumptive figures, but these are genuine figures of loss. Yes. Here we don't, 3 lakh, 4 lakh crore have been wiped out. Okay. And how okay. is it yeah. not going to impact us? Mr. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Agrawal, Mr. Gopal, Mr. Agrawal, you're as if, you know, this, this is not three, going to impact, it's impacting each one of us. all three OMCs are the den of corruption. Do you know that all the streets of Delhi and Mumbai, they have got all domestic cylinders, subsidized cylinders used okay. by the road people, roadside people, hawkers, they are using those cylinders. And your people are selling it in the black in the market. So, so there's it, a den of corruption. It, it, it's you better worth... check that okay. instead of talking about the all subsidies. Right, all right, all right. So it is, it is worth to point out here that the uh, companies that actually market LPG cylinders are all owned by the government. They're called oil marketing companies. And uh, is it not true also that the government is looking at stake sales in these companies? These companies will generally benefit from, uh, their stock prices will benefit from information like this, that prices of uh, LPG is going to be increased, that subsidy will be removed. These are stock prices that benefit from information and news like this. Deepak, on the phone line from Gurgaon. We have a few callers I want to get through. Deepak, go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Faye, for having me over. Uh, you see, Faye, the crux of everything and every argument is the price of crude oil in the international market. Today it is 50. What happens if it goes to 150? Mm -hmm. Would we be looking at a price of uh, petrol at around 200 rupees? Would we be looking at an LPG cylinder for 1,500 to 2,000 rupees? What happens? What happens to all the programs and subsidies? These things are just placed from the premise that the oil will stay at this rate, which is highly unlikely. If it had been to 150, it has come down to 26, it will again be 150. These are the market mechanics and dynamics nobody can predict. So why are we basing all the things and putting all the eggs in one basket, thinking that oil to, will stay over here for the next four or five years? Absolutely. It's ridiculous that the whole country is reduced to just one point uh, uh, you see, one point of uh, one price point of one commodity. We are a much larger nation. Fifty-three percent of the revenues for the government come from the petroleum sector. So, come what may, even if the oil goes to twenty rupees, they still have petrol at seventy rupees because they can't afford let go this. Uh, you see, milking of the middle class and the lower income groups. Right. So uh, all right. Gulnaz on the phone line from Udaipur. Gulnaz, go ahead. Uh, good evening to everyone. Yes. Um, 
मैम हैव जस्ट कम्प्लीटेड माई हाई स्कूल सो आई एम नॉट मच अवेयर अबाउट द पॉलिसीज ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट बट आई वुड जस्ट लाइक टू से दैट द गवर्नमेंट हैज टेकन द इनिशिएटिव ऑफ दिस उज्ज्वला योजना एंड इट इज एम दैट एनकरेजिंग पीपल टू यूज क्लीन अप फ्यूल्स एंड टू प्रोवाइड एल पी जी कनेक्टिविटी टू रूरल वेमेन बट ऑन द सेम टाइम दे आर प्लानिंग टू इंक्रीज द प्राइजेस नाउ हाउ डू वी एक्सपेक्ट रूरल पीपल टू यूज एल पी जी they will probably continue to use kerosene which is again harmful for the respiratory system because of the smoke and then we are also talking about pollution and all the thing so as one of the uh, panel members has correctly said that it shows the double standard of the government okay we have jay on the phone line from patna jay go ahead yeah yeah i think so see i think it's a welcome step because for the people who have given up lpg subsidy Uh, at the first place because mm-hmm. they were feeling left out because most of the people gave up lpg subsidies and still there were large number of people who were enjoying lpg subsidy right mm-hmm. so now these are lpg subsidy subsidies being taken off taken out now I, i think everybody would be on a level playing field and uh, obviously if the government is saving something on it they should ensure the people the common man that okay. it's going to be used in a proper way yeah right actually my... so so let's me let me just clarify this question uh, gopal agarwal the people who have oh, gotten sin- cylinders one second one second one second let me ask the question gopal agarwal the people who have gotten cylinders through the ujwala yojana what are they paying for their cylinder refills and will there be an increase in their price actually uh, the minister has clarified that we are not going to reduce subsidies they have just given an option uh, to the co- uh, oil company that if they want they can increase uh, the rate to 4 rupees a ba- cylinder for per month over a period of time but that also he has said that it is also part of the decision taken by the earlier government in 2010 it is What? part of that decision no, where no, no, the there was no ujwala yojana at that time that no, no, you not answer the specific but question mixing up your goals some you decide in the night line. and then no, you put it when you are in crisis you put on the par with the market blame on the cover on the company by march 2018 you have to bring it at par so you have to take away the subsidies there's a deadline also So how can you say that you the have job the job of fris- No there's a deadline March 2018 No, no I just I, you know there are two questions that are actually the valid questions that have to be answered Mr Agarwal let's set aside like Jay said those people who have given up their subsidies I've given up my subsidy myself those people are paying full market price but there are lots of people like Vishal Bosley who are getting subsidized cylinders 12 subsidized saal ke 12 subsidized cylinder milte hain unko 400 rupees ke aas paas these people will be brought up to 550 rupees in the next one year by an increase of 84 rupees what about those who have gotten ujwala cylinders have you also instructed the omcs that they are not to increase prices for those people who have got ujwala connections has that instruction gone out from the ministry mr agarwal the question is to you no the, the that i am I, i don't know at present yes. but what the minister has said in the parliament also and uh, uh, that time also that we are not going to reduce subsidy and we will look into this matter that has been said and it is an option to the oil companies government has not said that them that the please increase the prices of the subsidy lpg cylinder per, for by 4 rupees per month they have said that if mm-hmm. you that option has already been given to the uh the oil co- companies the second thing important is that ultimately what happens is it's the consolidated subsidy that the country should be talking about that is streamlined or <coughs> investment ultimately i have told you no sir it is another false statement there is no option given to oil marketing companies they were raising it there by 29000 crores since was july 16 and now they have been told to raise it by 4 rupees there is no option uh, given to them that they, they can charge less or they can charge more sir right. agarwal sir फर्टिलाइजर ऑल्सो 
what is the current structure of giving no, no, let's subsidies be on, let's be on the subject the manufacturer let's be on the subject they are manipulating okay, let me let me just point out one more time uh, mr agarwal let me just clarify this is a note we have sourced from the ministry of petroleum subsidy. and this natural gas issues. this is a note we have sourced from the ministry of petroleum and natural gas our sources have given this to us it says one of the key objectives is of course to ensure access to clean cooking fuel to every household in this country it goes on to say that the government has authorized the PSU, the OMCs, these are oil marketing companies who actually supply cylinders. The government has authorized OMCs to increase the domestic LPG cylinder prices by two rupees per cylinder every month, effective huh. 1st of July 2016. This has further been rationalized by an increase in prices of four rupees per cylinder every month, effective June 2017. It says authorized. Now, I want to know which oil which marketing option? company, which oil marketing company is going to give yes. up the option of increasing prices every month once authorized by the owner of the company, which is in this case, the government of but India. Tell but me, Fe, Fe, I have one question on this. Fe, you're asking Fe, the questions. Okay. Fe, I have one question. Yes. If these oil companies are not given the full price, who will ultimately pay the amount to the, those companies? Those which company? Uh, I which oil company? Please allow me to answer that question. I will ask the government to buy the government. I will ask the government to buy the government. I want to tell you that the oil company has enjoyed monopoly in this country for so many years. Yes. So what is the health of the country? So, so if the uh, oil marketing companies are making money on so many things, what if they suffer a bit of loss or if the government subsidizes no, them? No, actually, I have this question for you, Akash Jindal. I, I'll yeah. ask you this question, Professor Khanna as well. I remember, I remember giving up my LPG subsidy because the pitch at that point was if you can afford to pay full price, pay full price so that you will subsidize the people who cannot pay full price. So those people who are paying full price are doing so to subsidize those who cannot pay full price. That's point number one. We're also now paying full price for petrol and for diesel. There is a thick, unreasonable tax being levied on petrol right now, where petrol actually costs about 30 rupees, but we are paying 75 rupees. Mm -hmm. That remaining margin, where is that margin going if not to subsidize those people who are actually not able to pay for the gas cylinder? Now, that is where the money should be going. You cannot turn around and say, oh, this oil marketing company is going to go on loss. My next question, Professor Khanna, there is a report that came out in 2015 that said 75% of India's rural population survives on 33 rupees a day. 33 rupees a day, so that's an average monthly income of about 990 rupees. We have, uh, and if I get this uh, number right, one, one point, sorry, what? 133 million rural families survive on less than 5,000 rupees a month. How are they going to pay See for that, a cylinder of 500 rupees? 133 million families is, is equivalent to more than 500 million people who are poor in this country, who are in the lower income class, who don't have the purchasing power to even consume nutritious food. That will give them 1,000 calories per day per person. And they are the people who deserve to be supported by the subsidies. And the BJP government wants to reduce the subsidies of the poor people. I am sorry. This was not why this government was elected. It was elected to bring Achyad in for the poor people. And what are you giving to the poor people? A stick in their butt. This is not. This is grossly unfair. See, if I, if I, I, I want to make a point. Yes, go now, ahead. You ask them. Now, Mr. Now, allow me now, sir. Please Arian allow me now. There was uh, please allow me now. The, uh, Congress. Ji, please allow me, point, please allow me to make a point now. Please allow me to answer your question. You have raised the question. Firstly, firstly, allow me. To, now, firstly, Gopal ji asked a question to all of us that oil marketing companies why should be they made to suffer? Sir, oil marketing companies have never been suffering. It's the government which has been compensating them. No, so please don't tell us that, that the oil loss. marketing companies... Now, please allow me to complete, sir. I have allowed you to complete. They have, they, have, they have not suffered. Sir, there Secondly, has not been any loss Secondly, to any oil now, company in the last 30 years. years. Let, him, let him ask the question. I am not now, 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 Okay, gentlemen, first, please, please stop, stop please speaking over each other. Now, Akash now, Jindal, now. ask your question. Akash Jindal, yeah, yeah. go ahead. Now, Akash Jindal, go ahead. Now, so many times has the BJP government increased excise on petrol and diesel. Okay, you have market-linked diesel. Now you have market-linked 
एल पी जी यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सब्सिडी रिमूवल आई एम विद यू यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डेफिसिट रिडक्शन नाउ वुड यू सर प्लीज टेल मी इज योर डेफिसिट बींग रिड्यूस हैज योर डेफिसिट बीन रिड्यूस लेट मी इन्फॉर्म यू सर यू आर स्टिल रनिंग अ हाई डेफिसिट बजट सो इन स्पाइट ऑफ इंक्रीज इन एक्साइज सो मेनी नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स दैट आई हैव फॉगॉटन इन स्पाइट ऑफ द फ्री गिफ्ट यू हैव गॉट दैट इन द थ्री ईयर्स ऑफ योर रूल दैट क्रूड ऑयल हैज बीन एट लो इन स्पाइट ऑफ मार्केट लिंकिंग डीजल इन स्पाइट ऑफ नाउ प्लानिंग टू मार्केट लिंक एल पी जी स्टिल योर डेफिसिट इज फार फ्रॉम ग्लोबली अप्रूव्ड स्टैंडर्ड्स आई हैव रिस्पेक्ट फॉर योर गवर्नमेंट प्लीज टेल मी वॉट सॉर्ट ऑफ माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स हैव यू बीन टेलिंग अस नाउ आर योर इज योर डेफिसिट नंबर in can i can't let me no one second once let me just give rajesh kalapa a chance to speak allow, allow, allow me allow me to bring in rajesh kalapa because there were two references made to the upa government and we should give him an opportunity to respond mr kalapa go ahead yeah first of all i'd like to say that for everything the bjp has to look at the congress party and say look the congress party's decisions or its policies actually have brought us to this for everything if it's kashmir then uh, pandit nehru is responsible if it's uh, you know some other issue then the emergency is responsible this is the first government which has been been there for more than 3 years and it's still failing to take any responsibility for its own actions even if the rates have gone up if the subsidies have been cancelled they have to look at the upa if this is a condition of the people of this government then the least they should have done is look we are incapable of sitting in government allow us to sit in opposition for everything if you are going to blame the upa the least you should do is accept that you are totally incompetent you are inept and you can't do the job on hand this is the first thing now the second thing i think fe is for this government to open up and say frankly that look our government is not really concerned about the 90% of people who are in the either in the middle class or the poor we are for the top echelons of society and we are the people who have now written off corporate loans to the extent of 6 lakh crore 6 lakh crore have been declared as npas by modi sarkar now 1 lakh crore is a corporate tax waiver that modi sarkar mm-hmm. has given so 7 lakh What crore fraud. is the net benefit given to one class of people now what about the other class of people certainly there is nothing left to give them Okay. so only the the point is if the 10% the creamy layer is taken care of by modi sarkar then he can conveniently forget about the rest because they will fund his elections now if he will keeps continues to win elections thanks right. to the fact that right. 10% of the population time. which is a creamy layer is with him why does he have to bother about the remaining we 90% we have not taken any loan that didn't the it UK is the congress okay, okay, okay gentlemen i've run out of time unfortunately i've run out of time i have to wrap this up 50 paisa per right. month I I run out of time I have to wrap this up I just want to make a couple of points in closing if I may the subsidy right now the subsidy right now at a total cost at a total cost of 25000 crore rupees to the government actually costs about 80 rupees per family per month in the meantime an mp a member of parliament costs us 2.9 lakh rupees per month in all of the other subsidies that they get for free let's not give them anything for free because we've proven that a lot of them can afford to pay for their own electricity and their own air tickets my second point is this the government's argument that the money is being used to invest and for good infrastructure which means roads are being made and we've seen the targets of the roads x number of roads being made per day so many highways being made per day 2 crore homes being built across the country irrigation being built across the country My simple question is tell us where these roads are so we can actually go there and verify that these roads have been built tell us where the rural electrification scheme is happening so we can go there and verify that these villages actually have electricity tell us where you're building homes so we can go and look at those homes and look at the quality of those homes because this is where our money is going and we have a right to know tell us where you've increased irrigation and if you have invested 9 lakh crore rupees into roads rural electrification and irrigation tell me why farmers are striking and killing themselves across the country they should be a very happy lot they are not a happy lot farmers are committing suicide so something is obviously a miss and if 75% of india's rural population survives on 33 rupees a day how are they going to afford an increased hit of 84 rupees on their gas cylinders 
And finally, in closing, on behalf of the entire middle class, you may think that clubbing the issues of jobs, tomatoes, LPG, school fees, price of real estate across the country are all disjointed, but they are not for us. There are no jobs. We have not received increases in our salaries for several years. We're squeezing out of our household budgets. We can't afford vegetables anymore. We can't afford LPG cylinders anymore. The economy is really, really, really subdued from where we are looking at it. You might be looking at it from a different lens. Any sort of increase in our household budget must be justified at this point. And quite frankly, this doesn't seem justified. The answers need to be better. And we're hoping that the government either rolls back their decision or comes up with a better answer by tomorrow. Thanks for watching.